welcome to the Kindergarten Experience. I'm Dr. Isela Garcia, and today we have with us Debbie Everett, who is going to help us learn to make a book. And the book we're going to do right now is the, is, I call it a rubber band and stick book, because that's much of what we're using to put this book together. It's a, a very simple book to put together. Uh, to get ready for doing this, I just took some paper, and um, copy paper, and cut it in half. And also, I'm using the same size tag board for the front and the back of the book. So you have five sheets of paper mm -hmm. here. So this is going to be dependent on how long you want your book, obviously. These are your, your, front, your front part of your mm -hmm. book and your back of your book and your inserts for your pages. And because I've only chosen to use five pages, um, we can go ahead and put it in between and punch a hole on, uh, through all the pieces. If you're using a whole lot more pages, you might want to first punch the holes in this, line it up to your, your cover and to the back and then punch it in here and here because as you add paper, it just gets more difficult to do that. I, I do want to say something about hole punches. Um, these are the ones that most of us are very familiar with. I'm a scrapbooker and they have hole punches that come in varying sizes and even widths and, and even feel. For my experience with these, sometimes they're a little hard for kiddos. Yeah, sure. And so there are some that are just a tad bit easier these days. So, mm -hmm. you know, if it's something that you're going to regularly do in your classroom, I would say get one or two of them so that children can use Sometimes them. Sometimes I see too um, at, at thrift shops, mostly these where you can punch two holes at once. Yep. And that you can put your whole hand on so children have an easier time using that You know, well. matter of fact, uh, Treasure for te Treasures for Teachers uh, has those all the time. Oh, sure. Super cheap. Uh, those would be really mm -hmm. a, a good investment, I think. It's like a buck or so. Sure. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and when you're going to punch a hole, you want to come in about an inch or so. It doesn't need to be at all exact. But you also don't want to be right next to the edge because then your book is more likely to tear. So you want to come in about a half an inch and, um, and maybe an inch from the, the long side. And you're going to punch a hole at either side. So you can see it's even for us, it's a little bit hard to It takes a little muscle. Yeah. So I would probably say to children, you know, what do you think we can do? Mm -hmm. so that this would be easier because inevitably you're going to get, I can't do it. It's not mm -hmm. working for me. Okay, hold on. i got to get the second one. Mine is going to be wonky. Okay. And okay. if it's wonky, it's not going to affect the use of the book. That's, yeah, that's a weird right. thing about this. All right. And then also what we need is a rubber band. Here's some. I'll put this to you. And a stick. Now you do realize that when we have colored rubber bands mixed in with the regular that we're going to have an issue, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we need to have enough colored rubber right, bands, yeah. not take the color out. Okay, so I'm going to do blue with my choice. And then sticks from outside. You can also use a popsicle stick, you can use a pencil, there's all different kinds of things you can use for this. I personally think using the sticks from from uh, twigs and things from outside gives it the, the nicest look because it's a little more tied to nature. You know, one of the things uh, with sticks, sometimes they're not as readily available to us because we don't have a whole lot of trees on our campus. Um, one of the things that we did, there were uh, there were uh, landscapers who came out and did some, some um, what do you call when you when you trimming, trimming of a tree? Yeah, yeah that's what it is. <laughs> trimming of a tree and took off pretty significant branches. So we were able to take the branch and, and really um, cut up some twigs from from that. All right. This would also be a great thing that could be brought in from home if we asked. Ah. Um, if you don't have trees on your campus. You know what's also that. nice is on the way on the walk to because there are oh, so many sure. children that um, in our school district. They walk to school mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to pick up twigs wherever they find them on their way. Or a walking field trip um, with the intention of if you're looking for this. So with a rubber band, you want to push through one of the holes, through all the layers and one of the holes so that you have a little bit. So I'm going to try to do it this way so that folks can see it while you do it that way. And this is the most demanding on our small motor skills. <laughs> <laughs> of all of this. And then do we put the stick on? Yeah. And then you're going to put the stick through the loop that you've just pulled through. And then around the back, you're going to go up to the other hole with the rubber band. I think this part is the one that... that this might be the hardest part, yeah. Because you actually have to stretch it and hold it. You know the nice thing, um, anytime there's a challenge like this for me, it's I think about what would this be like for children and what are the opportunities it presents. And so for some children, they're going to try it because this takes kind of figuring out how to hold it, stretch it, and get it in. Mm -hmm. But to ask the, the types of questions of how can you figure out how to do it, maybe you can ask someone, and the words you would use are, can you help me? Sure, yes. And to coordinate that and do that together. And that's it. You have your book. Um, it's pretty it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you.